Captain's log date, December 22nd, 1943. After torpedoing the Japanese Maru, the USS Trout changed course once again. We are heading to the South China Sea, and if the journey goes smoothly, we should arrive on Christmas Eve. If the pickings are slim, we will proceed northeast to the East China Sea, and if fuel permits, the Sea of Japan. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4. As you can see, we are currently at 6-0 feet, we're at periscope depth, because we have a contact. Oh, and our observation scope is up as well, let's go ahead and lower that fella. We have a lone merchant contact, believe it or not. We It is December 24th at the moment, about midday, and where did that little guy go? It looks like he's still kind of out of visual at the moment, so let's go ahead and just slow down here. We'll go ahead and go slow and just head towards him. Since it is a lone contact, I want to go ahead and scout out the ship for guns at first. The waves are a little choppy, but we should still be able to commit to a surface attack. We're in the middle of the South China Sea. Not very much air cover, and yeah, she's looking... Looks like a pretty thick ship. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let them close in a little bit. Looks like the weather is getting kind of rough. It's getting a little foggy, so... Our window of opportunity for this is uh, definitely closing, and... I do not see any guns on the forward deck, so that's... Let's go ahead and turn around. All ahead flank. And let's get ready to do battle surface. Rudder and midships. Let's get this son of a bitch. So let's go ahead and set... Get our crew together. All hands man your battle stations. All right, we're going to hit the surface as quick as possible. Really get the element of surprise here. So let's go ahead and blow the ballast. All right, dive planes are going up. All right, blowing ballast. We are rocketing up, as you can see, passing 40 feet, 30 feet, and yeah, 27. We're on the surface. Go ahead and get on the deck gun. Alright, currently on the deck gun. Both motors are head full. Let's not recharge batteries. Oh shit, he does have guns. Alright. Go ahead and load those high explosive rounds. And change course a little bit. Okay, it looks like he has kind of small caliber guns. Range of the target. Oh Jesus. Rudder zero. Yes, sir. Zero. Fire! Alright, a little short, a little short. Ratchet up the range. Okay, he does have a high caliber gun. Oh god, that's coming pretty close. Come on, reload quicker, reload quicker, reload quicker. Fire! Course change, course change. Yes, sir. New course. Two, zero, nine. Okay. There's a lot more guns. We haven't been hit yet. Change course. Let's keep zigzagging. Fire. Okay, nice waterline hit there. Let's go ahead and keep uh, keep this up. Rudder midships. Fire. Change course. All right. Luckily, we've been able to. Uh, Evade every single high caliber shot. Okay. Fire. Change course. Another waterline hit. Okay, he's getting pretty close though. This is very worrisome. Let's increase range by a couple yards. Fire. Freddy's going to get a really lucky yes, hit and uh, take out a lot of my crew. That gun is just rapid firing. We do have this pretty uh, high caliber deck gun though. That's part of the reason that it takes so long to reload. Rudder zero. Rudder midships here. Up the range a bit and fire. It looks like all of his smaller caliber guns have ceased firing. It's like we got out of range, which is good. Uh, that protects my deck gun crew, which are pretty exposed out here on the aft deck. Fire. 
Alright, now let's just pop this guy full of lead. Okay, and a miss. Doesn't look like his gun crew is very good. Oh, when I say that, and that looks actually pretty close. I could aim for the gun itself, that would solve quite a lot of problems, but I think it might just be more efficient. Ooh, that was pretty bad. To aim for the uh, hull of the ship to begin with. She already looks like uh, she's listing to port up the range. We are hauling ass here, 20 knots. <laughs> Really putting quite a bit of distance between us. Fire. Another waterline hit. Go ahead and slow down. I'll head one third. Looks like their gun is silenced. If that's the case, we can probably go ahead and stop. We're probably abandoning ship. Oh, another good hit. Right in the hull. Go ahead and keep firing from this range here. Looks like we're in a fairly decent spot. Yeah, their main cannon stopped firing. I wonder what happened. I'm not really complaining, I'm just curious. <laughs> if anything, that's a good thing for us. Less hull damage, uh, because those cannons really mess you up. Especially since I've installed that uh, Toko's Revenge mod. I've noticed, like, taking hits from, you know, cannons on the surface is no bueno. It really hurts you a lot more than it used to, which is good. I don't think a submarine would be able to survive too many hits from, uh, deck guns, but... Like in the Wolf Pack, the other submarine sim, I mean, you can take maybe one... Well, one to two hits, and then you're you're just done. <laughs> you're dead. I think that's probably more accurate. All right, we're still getting pretty good waterline hits. We could probably cease fire now, but I want to go ahead and put her under before any Japanese zeros start flying overhead. Also, the sea state is getting rougher and rougher, and it looks like a fog layer is closing in on our position. So, I have a feeling the weather is going to get piss poor right in time for Christmas. I'm sure my crew will love that. The current plan though, is to kind of patrol around the South China Sea a little bit and then we'll head north and hopefully we can make it to the Sea of Japan. Fuel is really okay, we're at 86% and she's burning, I think, I think she's done for. I'll stop. I'll stop. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just watch and see. I think she's done for though. I don't see her surviving that. She looks like she's about to turtle over, honestly. Where are you? There it is. But hopefully we can make it to the Sea of Japan. Uh, I have a feeling we will be able to, mostly because we had that base change to Midway Island, which is pretty close, relatively, to the Sea of Japan. We don't have to sail all the way back down to Australia. Which is definitely excites me. I'm really happy we're going to Midway. Game based on a Midway. Oh yeah, she is. She's not reacting too well to that. Yeah, she's taking on water. Pretty heavy fires. Explosions. All right, yeah, she's going down. Well, there's that. There's that little gun that's, that's causing us so much trouble. Wonder what that was. No, I don't think she's actually technically sunk yet, which is kind of BS. That she is not going to stay afloat. Okay, yeah, she's going down. Let's see what we're. Another Zimbu Maru, so two Zimbu Maru's. This one was 5,000. Yeah, 5,387 tons, and she is just plummeting down now. All right, well, another one bites the dust. We only expended deck on ammo for that one, so that definitely is a plus. We keep all of our torpedoes, except the one there. And let's see here, our 11% hull damage. <laughs> let's go ahead and get the gun crew into the berthing. 
and proceed onward towards the Sea of Japan. Hopefully we find something pretty juicy uh, on New Christmas. That would be pretty cool. That would make a, a good episode, I think. So we'll keep patrolling northward, probably towards the convoy college up here. I'd really like to sink my teeth into a convoy. Kind of like the last patrol where we just tore that one convoy up. Uh, I would like a repeat of something like that. So we'll go ahead and slow it down and keep moving northeast. All right, have a radar contact out here. Just a lone ship. We are currently in the Luzon Strait. And it is December 29th, so Christmas has come and gone and with nothing. This is our first contact in a while. It is almost noon, so, and the weather conditions are a little rough. So we're probably going to end up doing this underwater, which is fine by me. Go ahead and take this guy out with our probably use Mark 18s here in these sea conditions and uh, really mostly the lighting conditions. Want to maintain the element of surprise, and I don't know why. All right, looks like we're maintaining visual contact here. So let's go ahead and start timing this ship, this contact, to establish range. Okay, start. All right, so we've spotted her. Sounds good. Start closing the gap here. One minute. Two minutes. Three minutes. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Alright, I'm gonna have to kind of guess here. Three minutes, five seconds. Okay. Alright. So it's gonna be a little less, so we'll just round down. Ten knots. Alright, both engines ahead flank. Let's really start putting on the coals here to, uh, Get around this ship here. Let's just head due east for the time being. And we'll uh, cut north. And we should be in a pretty good position to attack here. Not sure exactly what kind of ship it is yet, but we'll figure all of that out once we are beneath the waves. All right, so we can go ahead and dive the periscope. Let's turn that thing off. Let's see, do we have visual contact on her? The fog's pretty thick still. Alright, looks like the dive planes are rigged down, and yeah, we are slowly start sliding down. Get a general course. Looks like she's maintaining a course of 082. Mark that down. Is that? Perfect. This is actually looking rather good. Let's see what's the torpedo stitch. I could just go ahead and use a two Mark 14s at very short range. Hopefully she won't have enough time to react. Uh, or I could, yeah, I think, man, decisions, decisions, because we don't have too many Mark 18s. Uh, I think I'll go ahead, let's just slow down here. I think I'll go ahead and use the Mark 18s this time. We'll use impact pistols. All right, so let's get our hydrophone operator to follow the this contact. Virgin, closing, bearing two, two nine one. These waves are going to make this a little tedious. Yeah, I can see the smoke, but there we go. Yeah, I can just barely see her through the fog. Oh wow, that's a pretty thick fog layer, so let's keep closing in. I probably want to make this shot at like, I don't know, a little over a thousand yards would be probably preferred. There we go. Perfect. Merchant, bearing, two, eight, seven, closing. Let's go ahead and try to identify the ship. Okay, interesting. I've seen that before. It's a fairly popular one. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and skip through our book here. Nagara? I 
I don't think it's a Nagara. I think uh, the one we're tracking kind of has a bigger smokestack. Oh my god, these blue, uh, these waves. Whee. Blapping over here. All right. Yeah, it's not a Nagara. This is it. Kips on Maru. Yep, definitely, because it has these two king posts like masts. So we can go ahead and set this up then. Oh, speed is 10 knots. We've established that. Go ahead and set that up. And we will I don't know if I'll have an opportunity to plug this in here. Okay, Mark. Kips on Maru. So the draft is 21 feet. I'm debating on using magnetic pistols in these waves. Turn on position keeper. Uh, 21 feet. So we'll set our torpedo depth to 22. We're going to shoot tubes. I believe 5 and 6, right? Yep, 5 and 6 are our magnetic. So 22 feet. Way two influence, influence. Only one speed setting on the Mark 18. Position keeper, I'm good. AOB at the moment, 40 degrees set. Two, eight, eight. Closing. Range, yikes. I'm not sure. I can try to get a quick reading here, just for the sake of having it set. A little over. Uh, 5,000 yards. That seems about right. Bearing two, Let's see. Eight, nine. Probably end up shooting here pretty soon. I'll probably end up getting the rest of the range via sonar. 60 degrees set speed is still good. The only thing that's probably going to be a bit off is, in Bear, fact, two, range. Nine, two. Looks like it kind of made a slight course change here. Very slight. Bearing, ever two, so slight, nine, but seven. still still annoying. Moving slow. Shit. Okay. Change speed too, according to my hydrophone operator. Smart. Crap. Let's just time him for a minute and multiply it by three. Mark, what are we getting here? Eight knots. You can see that. Bearing, so. three, zero, eight. <sighs> so annoying. Oh wow, and this guy's Bearing, loaded with all sorts three, of military zero, equipment. Nine. Looks like trucks. Okay. Keep letting this run for three minutes, but let's just go ahead and set eight knots here. Set, range, three, one, zero. mark, set. It's about 1,600 yards. AOB. Three, one, let's one. see here. Let's do 70. Set. Bearing. All right, 45 more seconds for our final range reading. All right, let's see what we're getting here. 
seven. That seems more likely. Okay. Set. All right. So one last reading before we open and flood the tubes. Let's go ahead and update range. I was saying I was going to do it using sonar, but we're getting a pretty good picture here. So set. Let's do 75 degrees. Set. Tube five, make sure 22 feet. Open tube five and tube six. Tube five, fire. All right, we'll say five sec, six. Let's wait 10 seconds before we fire tube six. Tube six, fire tube six. All right, scope down. Looks like we got a one minute, 12 second runtime. All right, moment of truth here. Ten seconds to impact, scope up. Perfect. Right on time, too. All right, two ten packs. Beautiful. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's definitely done. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Runtime and everything was good, so. I'm actually really happy with that. It looks like we blew all the mast off and she is just engulfed in flames. We can go ahead and take a look now. It's a good way to send off the year, I suppose. Sending down some uh, Jeeps, some trucks. Probably other military equipment. I buy a Kipton Maru. Let's see how many tons was this here? Three thousand tons. So I probably did not need the tube torpedoes, but better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Yeah, the first torpedo really just ignited something because this ship went up like fireworks. All right, well, another one bites the dust. I suppose we'll keep going onward towards um, the Sea of Japan. I think that is my goal, and that seems like a lot of fun. We have not been there yet, so this will definitely be a first. I'm sure it's gonna be a little dangerous, but we're gonna go ahead and sail past Okinawa and try to stay in some of this deep water through the Korea Strait and into the sea of Japan. We'll see what we can get. I wonder how many Soviet ships we'll actually encounter out here. I'm not sure, but uh, it might be better to troll this side of Japan. We'll see. We'll find out. This is all a learning experience, I suppose. So anyway, with that out of the way, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode where we send more merchant ships down, and that one already just Looks like it plummeted down to the sea floor, so looks like uh, the USS Trout is doing fairly well this patrol. Already three vessels sunk, so couldn't be happier. Anyway, thank you all. See you guys next time.